<laughs> Hi everyone, I'm James. I am the box office artist. Welcome back to my channel and wonderful having you here every single day. And today we're going to have a lot of fun. Last week a lot of you responded so well to my old uh, versus new uh, art with uh, Wolverine versus uh, Warblade from Wildcats last week. And last week I also showed you this image of Hulk versus thing and I told you last week maybe I'll try my hand at draw redrawing this Hulk versus thing and today is the day I decided to uh, try to put this together now I'll let you know right now what when I'm filming this I'm in a bit of time crunch I have to actually get to class uh, shortly for today so I really kind of rush this but I really wanted to get this video out today I had it planned out to go today uh, so I did my best at the time that I had but hopefully you guys will enjoy it so in this particular video I'm going to redraw my Hulk versus the thing from Fantastic Four it was a lot of fun to do how did I do well you're gonna find out right now All right, here we go, drawing the thing versus the Hulk. Uh, so once again, uh, if you're new, new to my channel, uh, this is pretty much uh, using what, we, what I use whenever I'm drawing professional comic books, uh, Strathmore Bristol board, 11 by 17, so doing this regular comic book paper size. Uh, starting off with a color pilot Eno lead, this time using blue. I'll admit to you, it's because I ran out of red pencils. So <laughs> I still need to buy some more. But going ahead and just roughing out my Hulk versus thing. Now one thing I thought I could improve on the most from the original was the actual perspective. I thought if I brought the camera down uh, more towards uh, like it like a shins and having the Hulk come like from the top you know like he's attacking from the top I thought that would be cooler. Um, in the original I had them more in this kind of wrestling pose like it's like uh, the um, thing was holding Hulk in a fireman's carry type <laughs> what's it called type uh, position there so I didn't want that for this one it's more I wanted more the Hulk uh, attacking the thing so um, that's it, pretty much what I did I had the Hulk flying in from the top and the thing there at the bottom waiting for him with all with clenched fists um, another fun thing to do here that was different back in that day was uh, trying to figure out how this rock would look okay again I did that uh, image back in high school so um, or I think like near the end of high school, like I honestly forgot. But uh, the way I do the rock here is it's very different, right? So I wanted to have that feeling of actual rock going around, and my knowledge of lighting has gotten a lot better. So the way I render the rock, as you see, is it here? Uh, it, it should feel like you know light hitting different surfaces, and this rock has dimension to them. All the little rocks on his body has dimension to them. Now I'll admit to you guys also, I. Um, I didn't know whether to keep the trench coat in there or not, but then I decided because I had it in the original, I decided to put the trench coat in. But I decided against uh, giving the Hulk, you know, the white t the white shirt and the, and the tennis shoes or the. But <laughs> I, I think I called them Air Rays on the original Air Ray shoes, so I opted against that. Even the thing, I opted against it. But though, um, I think you only see one of the the feet, one of uh, the thing's feet, but. Uh, the actual, uh, you know, doing the hands here, one thing about doing a low angle perspective, you know, you would see the bottom of the arms and they would be in shadow. So my, uh, that's, I think that's one of the biggest things that changed since high school. I understand form better, I understand structure, and I understand lighting a whole lot better. Like when I was doing the original image of uh, the thing versus the Hulk, of course, I'm, I'm always looking at other people's artwork. I'm um, and pretty much just trying to copy what they did. For sure. Now I don't remember exactly what I was looking at when I was when I was doing that, but you also see the way I render thing. I was adding blacks uh, to the artwork just because I saw someone else do it, but didn't understand why. I was adding shadow, but I didn't understand how. So I was just kind of making up as I go along. So that's uh, one of the biggest difference. Also, my knowledge of anatomy has greatly improved here, as you see me here drawing the Hulk and trying to get all those uh, fine little details in there. You know, trying to add veins and. All that's you know all those lines to the neck uh, of course a lot of fun but also you know him jumping down so the hair is kind of like flying back a little bit so not comparing their heads maybe um, maybe I could have made the things head a little bit uh, smaller that's the thing when you're doing oversized characters like the thing and the Hulk the size of the head matters the width of the shoulders and the size of the hands and as you see here I'm drawing in the one hand it looks okay like again, compared to a um, a regular person, that hand uh, is bigger than the head when usually it would be smaller. But uh, I'm all I'll even thinking maybe I could have even gotten bigger with that hand. 
All right, it's actually pretty small for my standards. I usually draw these giant hands, even with the re my regular characters, but uh, um, that's probably the right size for a, a particular character like this here. So now I'm going ahead and then uh, putting in uh, the thing's pants there. Uh, pretty much gave him like, um, I was going for a spandexy feel when I was doing that. And of course, uh, the leg here. Now, I'll, I'll admit, when I was doing this part of the leg, I was running out of time. I, I did time myself or plan myself out so that I would be able to finish this today. Um, so, you know, I, I, that's why I did a lot with the thick marker. And I did a lot of the details with the thick marker, thinking, okay, I'll just, I'll just rough it in like that. If I had a little bit more time, I probably would have put a little bit more care uh, when it came to uh, the legs uh, themselves here. But also roughing in a lot of the uh, destruction that's behind them, I, I decided that um, I would keep a lot of what was in the original, meaning the smoke and meaning like having some sort of, um, uh, what, what's it called here, the, the rubble rubble there, destruction there at the bottom, so keeping that in, so you see me here drawing the smoke. But I also wanted to add something a little bit more, well first of all I also <laughs> put Mr. Fantastic there, like I had in the original, again understanding structure just a little bit better, though I did make him smaller, I did make him smaller than in, in the original, having him a little bit more further back. Um, but I really, really, really wanted to put in uh, buildings, and the main reason I wanted to put in the buildings was because uh, I wanted to have a semblance of speed lines, uh, you know, comic book artists add speed lines just to sh convey motion, uh, to convey, you know, it gives it that full action uh, feel to the piece. So that one thing I wanted to do with these buildings here was to have these uh, lines that came down that gave you uh, the, the feel of speed lines without actually having to draw in the speed lines. So as you see here, I'm drawing in the building here, the lines to this building, and they kind of act like speed lines. So you feel, you know, the energy coming down. So that's what uh, I was trying to do here. Then adding in as much detail like as I could in the background and the amount of time that I had uh, to put this together. If I had a little bit more time, I might have added a little bit more rendering uh, to the background in terms of adding more darks to it or, or you know, uh, shadow to the buildings. But at the same time, um, uh, I don't want to take away from the actual foreground itself. So, well, but here it is. It's pretty much almost done here. This was me drawing the Hulk versus the thing. And there you go, that was me drawing the Hulk versus the Thing. Uh, not bad, not bad uh, for the amount of time that uh, I put it together. Uh, you know, I was, uh, I was okay with it. I was, I was happy with it. Of course, there's always little things that you want to fix uh, whenever it comes to these type of, this type of artwork. But hopefully I approve, so you know, I'll have both here on the side. Maybe you could tell me if you like one over the other. For the most part, the last time everyone pretty much liked the newer one better. I don't know about this time, so that's totally up to you what you guys think of this old versus new artwork. So let me know in the comments below, even if you like my old work, don't worry, no hard feelings, totally understand, uh, but I just kind of want to know. <laughs> also, by the way, if, if you didn't do it already, uh, check out my video yesterday where I drew the 10 styles of Homer Simpson. Go check that out. Also, let me know if you think you know what the 10 styles were. Let me know in that video, okay? Not this video, but that video. But also, any other videos you would like me to do, let me know in the comments down below. But you guys are the best. Thank you for watching. Hey, if you're new to my channel, you looked around, you like what you see, if you wouldn't mind hitting that subscribe button, well, I will be your friend for life. Join my 53,000 and counting other best friends, and we will draw every single day together. If you want to support me monetarily, I do have a online store there. You can find prints, original art, and my commission prices. But once again, you don't have to spend a dime. I'm just happy you're here watching my videos. Thank you guys for watching. You guys are the best. Please like this video, share this video with all your friends. And my name is James. I am the box office artist. I'm here to say keep drawing, and I'll see you all tomorrow.